how good you make them good, that is something I'm like, you're great. Yeah, it's you're, super you're awesome. Especially with Paulatina, um, I feel like it's she's definitely like a crazy person to learn. Like, super oh, look at that phantom footstool. Got some air. Okay, so we'll probably see a dash attack come out as like one of the neutral exchanges because everyone's tired of Sonic's seven frames of invincibility during the spin dash. Do you know about that? So at the, when he spin dashes and like he has a charge and he lets go, he has seven frames of invincibility. I don't know if it's exactly seven, but he has a, definitely a few frames of startup of invincibility. So there's an interesting like technique with Palu when you actually jab. Instead of like going into like the jab like sequence, you can just tap it just right. So it's just like it keeps them in there. Really? So you're like, yeah, 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 yeah basically. Ready, ready for it? Just the grab. See that that's the back air I was talking about where it's invincible on the shield. It's actually an amazing back air. Boing, boing. Oh, that up air. So up air is probably one of Baltina's best moves. Isn't this a lot easier to compensate than doubles? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's definitely, yeah. Oh, he tried to read the approach, but Valor just held it just long enough for the the move to come out, and then him go he go in and punish it. So a lot of people don't know, but that up smash has a weird spiking hitbox. Really? Yeah, it sends you down. I've only seen it like once or twice. Wow, that was terrible, the eye. But I, I've only seen it once or twice, where it like it'll send them straight down. And I was like, what is this? This is not what this move should do. And it it, it does. <laughs> like, okay, cool. No. See, there's that dash deck. Invincible. I don't. Oh. That's a cool pose for Sonic, actually. Yeah. Chan, he's very cocky. That was almost too easy. Too easy. Yeah, so. Two stock. Two stock. Hammer time. <laughs> Two stock. Hammer time. Alright, I'm back. So, looks like, uh, <clears throat>
Double Karma got that footstool, looking to get the punish, reading the roll, but just missing it. This game's looking a lot more even than the first one, right? Oh yeah, no, for sure. And it was Death Arcana that picked this stage, correct? Yeah! Now, do you think he chose this stage because of how short the stage is? You know, for definitely for some skill? Oh, that was really good. Did you see what he did? No. So he up beat and like he ledge canceled it perfectly so that he can up beat instantly again. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's what he just did there, which was amazing. It's so hard to do. But, um. So yeah, I think that he was definitely chose this stage more because it has the, like, has a low ceiling. Or, no, this is Smashville, right? Yes. Yeah, uh, Smashville actually doesn't have a low ceiling. It's pretty big. It's, it's usually the starter stage. For a lot of things, so or for a lot of matches, everyone's like, "This is a good starting stage." Just like one moving platform. Uh, I don't. So they're like, "Okay, we'll go here." I guess. Right. So people do go here. Well, I thought it would be because Sonic has, or Sonic would have like a long enough stage to roll. Well, Sonic, the stage, he doesn't need a long enough stage to roll. The bigger the stage, the easier he has to get away. But like, he can get away anyway. He's so fast. But. I feel like that one like platform is very optimal for him because he can like if he doesn't feel safe or he feels like he needs to kind of like escape from Sonic on the ground and like the options Sonic has he can kind of use that platform either to like get away for a moment and like refresh things that or, like refresh his mindset and possibly to um to go and uh, hit him get him uh, follow up for an up air or something that was really good on his part. So Valor looks like he's feeling very comfortable going for a lot of things. He is up a stock though, so who would have been going for a lot of stuff? No. Oh, definitely gives him a lot of room just to, you know, mess around. Even if he doesn't do stock, you know, he's still in a very comfortable position. Yeah. He would have 124% stock lead. Up throw! Oh, no! That Nair killed, I'm very surprised. I've never seen Sonic Nair do anything more than combo setup for footstool combo setup. So you know about that, right? Yeah, so like they'll roll they'll roll into it and it stuns. Yeah, the so person. they'll they'll side B, I think it's Nair footstool, and then click neutral B to follow and hit you on the ground. Ah, uh, gotcha. It might not be Nair footstool, it might just be side B into footstool. But it's very important to like space it right. Right. Like he, whenever I first played him, he did it on me just for days. He was like, <laughs> I, okay, I didn't even know Sonic could do that. <laughs> Thanks. More you know. Yeah, I guess. Dread Arcana getting that drink. A little thirsty. <laughs> Bless you. Excuse me. He's thirsty. <laughs> Someone's watching a shout out to Paw Claw. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea who you are. But, He's uh, uh, the best Ganon in New Jersey. The best Ganon in New Jersey? At least that's what his Twitter handle is. Yeah, uh, see, see, <laughs> we, we gotta see details, we gotta see match we gotta, stats. Yeah, we gotta see match stats. <laughs> nah, man, if you ever come down to Utah, just come play. We'll yeah, play. for sure. There's definitely... We only got a scene out here, as you can see. Usually best Ness is here, but not today. He's in Michigan, kicking ass. <laughs> I can't say that. I'm not supposed to. <laughs> this is a... Family, family fun Christian channel. Uh, <laughs> it's a kid's game. I'm broken. <laughs> <laughs> that Nair is so good. Back air. Invincible. Dash tag. Invincible. These seven frames. Invincible. <laughs> 
<laughs> See? Yeah, Valor's feeling very comfortable. Because usually Valor's very like defensive campy kind of player, but he's going in. Yeah, I mean, especially with doubles, like, he was more defensive. Yeah. Like, but, but now he's playing more aggressive. Yeah, he is. I don't know if any of you guys noticed how, just like think how fast Sonic is. Valor in an instant just turned around, turned around, crouched, and turned around with barely enough time to tell that he crouched. I can't even imagine like that hand movement. Oh, he claws. He like does it like this. He plays it like you're playing on a fight stick, kind of. Oh, really? Yeah, he does this. That's so yeah, I would, if I had a Genki control, I'd demonstrate for the stream. But this, he like, he kind of like pinches his thumb and his index finger kind of together on the joystick. And uses like his, his uh, middle finger to click in the, the left trigger. And I, I feel like it might feel awkward at first, but I, you might ha you have more control over the stick, you know? Uh. Rather than your, your slow thumb, you have that, that index finger. I'm trying to test yeah. the speed of my thumb now. Right, here's, oh, here's, here's the thumb goes. and I'm like, like, look how much faster that finger moves. If you're controlling it more with that finger, and using just the bottom thumb to balance. Oh. It's weird. It, it, it's very, it's not weird. It's different, but it, that's I what, mean, that's what my mom said. I mean, how but, it can help I mean, He has to move so quickly and so precisely. These are just things you notice being in the scene. You like notice, oh, Valor controls his ha holds his controller as a hook in his left hand. Like I've known Valor for like I don't know a year and a half now. That's just something I picked up on. He holds his controller in a different way. Like, I don't think I see a lot of other players in the scene hold it that way. And it's well, definitely, like, it's definitely an advantage for him because he's good at seeing. I don't know if it has an advantage, but it's definitely I feel like he, to him as a player, it feels comfortable. Right. Yeah, he, he probably feels like he has a little more control. That was cool. Back air, twist, jump, back air. Alright, Paul Tino looking to. Oh my god. The turnaround and the raw forward smash. Oh, 